Now is the time to leave this space empowered. Today, I promised to you to make an activation for the solar plexus, for the warrior within, for that archetype that lives in you around your belly button. This beat that is now so affected by the word war. So I invite you, all of you who you are here and all of you who will listen to the recording to sit down really as comfortable as you can on your chair, on the ground, but very straight. And you connect with your hand in your tummy. And connect and feel how the feeling is right now. After everything you have heard, all the powerful women that you have listened to, maybe the news that came in the background, or something big that you have going on. And I think of the words of uh, Sumita this afternoon that when we are not empowered to speak up, we almost feel like throwing up. If you feel that sense of something that you cannot stomach, that you cannot digest, could be the news, it could be something about your job, it could be something that, that makes you afraid, that makes you look like feeling your power leave you. Just be present for that feeling. Be present for that feeling. Acknowledge. Acknowledge whatever it is that is taking your power away and just look at it. The power of the presence and the, the power of noticing what is happening with us transforms what is happening to us. Just notice it, how it shows up here in your solar plexus, whatever fear you have, whatever disempowerment thought. And I want you to imagine that there in front of you, there is a fire. And this fire is just in the center of this circle of women who came to this conference. We are all around the fire. You are supported. We are doing this, uh, this activation, this visualization together. You feel connected that fire with your tummy. And you are going to connect it in a continuous flow. You let go of that fear and that fire comes to you as energy and courage. You release your fear and courage comes back to you. You release your fear and courage gets into your system and feel that loop of releasing and allowing your powerful self coming in 
and it's a fire that transforms the fear of each one of us and makes us courageous to each one of us. All together, we're awakening this new version of the feminine. We release all those fears as all as they could be, and we get the courage of that fire of great mother earth at the center of the earth in that fire that is in the center of our circle to let go of your fear you welcome courage you let go of your fear you welcome courage and feel that warmth feeling all your beautiful body and feel whatever it was heavy on you, heavy on your shoulders or a knot in your stomach, slowly vanishing, slowly disappearing. And it is not that the reality has changed magically, it's that you have connected to the courage that has always been there, that you can deal with reality, with clarity, with power, and with the support of all your ancestors. You release your fear, you welcome your courage. You release your loneliness, and you welcome the community of women all around you. You release your helplessness and welcome creativity. You release the how could this be possible to mm. I am already doing it. Now, there is no discomfort in your body. Just scan your body and notice that all your entire body has become fire. You have the fire of all the women, you have the fire of all your ancestors, and this is power that doesn't abuse the limits of others. It's this power and this fire that cooks a meal. It's this power and this fire that lights a house. It's a power and a fire of peace, of respect, or healthy boundaries. This is the fire that will help you to say no. Until this hour, this is my limit. And as you release all the fears and anxieties that you may have or have, you are empowering other women. And it's a cycle that goes from the women to you or from you to the women. We are a circle. We are a circle and it includes you and me, the women in this recording, the people who will listen to it, our mothers, grandmothers, great grandmothers, our daughters, granddaughters, the ones who haven't been born, the ones who have died long ago. We are releasing, we are releasing all that fear. We are releasing all that anxiety. And we're welcoming a power that is peaceful, but needs to be reckoned with. Feel it with all your bones, with the, all your skin, with all your muscles. This is your power. This is the power of the goddess. You can come back to this sensation anytime you want. 
in the queue of the supermarket, in a meeting with your boss, in a conversation of uh, a sales conversation, in any situation, in business, in private, when you're alone, when you're having a shower, just connect to this power. It's the infinite power of sisterhood. This is the infinite power of your female lineage to the past and to the future. You have this power of creating beautiful and healthy boundaries in which you love yourself and you love the others at the same very time. Feel this fire within, keep it within, and know that you can come back to it any, any, any time. As you are harmonizing the power of your solar plexus, every single chakra in your body is being harmonized. Your heart is being harmonized. Your brain is being harmonized. Your muscles are being harmonized. Your womb is being harmonized. At this moment, you are more intelligent. At this moment, you are younger. You are healthier. At this moment, you're connecting with every single part of the universe because it is just all like fractals. The moment you create harmony in a little part, you create harmony in everything that is. Remember that feeling. This is how well-being feels. This is how power feels. Take a deep breath in. And say goodbye to your sisters in the circle. I love them. Take a deep breath in. And become more aware of your surroundings, of your chair, of your body. Take a third deep breath in. And come back to this place, empowered, feeling like a goddess. Did you enjoy this? Here is a selection of other videos that I feel you will love. And please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share. Love and light.